Good morning, y'all. First thing I want to point out, check out these wings right here. I never ever do these, but Tiff hooked me up and she did it for me. Do you guys like it? Oh, she said she loves it. They're having, they're having makeup talk. Check out what that sounds like. It sounds like they're talking about tools. That's so cute. I just realized. Guys talk about like their tool shit. And then they're like, oh, I got this power drill. And like this is my workbench. And then girls do the same thing. 50? 50. That's so specific. That destroys the bathroom. It just feels too thick. I made cupcakes. Jess made yeah, cupcakes. No, I made it. I made them and you decorated. Something. I decorated it. Is it? Is it? Cheaper? Yeah, call his ass out. Yeah, I was like, try to guess which one's which mine. Oh. Oh, you yeah. gave mine to ants. What? Oh, all of mine's are ants. Only one is left. That's mine. How can we say ants? Because it's ants' house. But I thought there were like ants, like the bug ants. Okay, yeah. You gave it I was to like, the there's no ants over here. I was here. like, then throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit bitching, just throw it away. I'll have to clean that up later. Oh, yeah. uh, June and Dan gave us this from Italia. Italia. Oh. And the Vietnamese. We have this from the Vietnam. What is it? Oh, I don't Vietnam. know. I was going to tell you guys about my dress, but yeah, they did. Oh, that looks wild. What the hell is this? Rice. That? Rice Ooh. cracker. Dry drag. Who is that? <laughs> Damn. I'm done. Take that shit done. somewhere Try. else. Chocolate? Oh, this is Watch Italian. it be bomb as fuck and you just gave it back. You gave it to us. That's okay. I'm not going to Oh, take I brought this from <laughs> Australia. Oh, you brought it yeah. from Tim Tams? Yeah. Well, it's Why'd our you fan. get the, You should have got the... Oh, can I give it? Yeah. I like the white chocolate ones. Oh, I'll bring that one next time. Wow. I have, I have every single one. What's this? What's this? I don't know. Like fruit? Oh. This All right. Fruit candy I got to show you guys my dress. Baby, can you hook? Oh, this, and this is, is funny. favorite right here. Stinky squid. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. You're Can trying we? to show them your dress, and I'm like, yeah, hurry up and show them. It's so funny. We get a little bit of. This is adorable. Okay, I gotta show you guys my dress, baby. Yeah. We gotta show them my dress. We'll go outside because I gotta walk. Okay. But let me just go. Oh, this looks good. All right. So this is why it's funny. So I was late today. Well, you gotta see from my side. So I was late today. Yeah. And I'm trying to run and, and like walk with a sense of urgency, but the hole at the bottom of this dress is so small. Okay, this is a scene. I'm the director. Okay, okay. And uh, someone's trying to rob you of your purse. Run, you have to go. Oh, no. <laughs> you make me. You can't even run is, away from, you can't even run away from the danger. The hole is so little, look. Damn. This would be right in front of the lens. These are not very safe outfits. Yeah, look. <laughs> It makes your booty pop like a mofo, though. That's tight. Thank you. Damn, you inappropriate mama. Oh. Okay. Well, I thought that was funny. Okay, we gotta film now. All right, y'all. I'm out of breath because I just came up and down from the stairs, up and down on the stairs, not from the stairs, like four times because some of my Black Friday purchases are here. Sorry, that probably made you guys really dizzy. Um, so I got. A gel memory foam topper because my mattress is hurting my back. And it's crazy because this I think this is a sign of me getting old. Because I never had issues with mattresses before. Um, I had a really, really hard mattress because it's just what my parents bought me. And I guess that's just what they use. So that's what they like. Um, and it never hurt me before. This is bothering me. Because it's bright out, so I need natural light. Oh, yes. I love it. Oh, that's bothering me, too. I need... Give me light. Oh, yes. Thank you. That one's fine. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and now it's just been hurting my back. Like, ever since I got pregnant, um, that's when I first started feeling, like, my back hurting. Like, it feels like my hip is, like, pulling away from my body. So, I was thinking, maybe it's really really uh have a hard mattress for my body and instead of buying a whole new mattress because that's not cheap then we thought an alternative would be let's buy a a, a topper and hopefully that changes because uh i don't want to have to buy a new mattress so that's what we're going to try in the target box we have christmas stuff and we got stuff for taika which is really cool in that white bag guess what y'all 
me and my girlfriends, it's Jess, Tiff, Nikki, Julia, uh, myself, and Christina, we're all gonna go on a girls trip in a couple weeks, and it's gonna be fun. Not in a couple weeks, soon. In a week, I think, or less. Uh, yeah, so I had to buy bathing suits because, okay, I never have to buy anything, right? But I wanted to buy some because y'all, we're taking a trip to Tulum, Mexico, and uh, it's gonna be one of my first times going back to Mexico since I was like maybe five or something. Uh, so I wanted to look extra cute, so I bought some bikinis. I bought more than what I needed because we live in a time now where I can return things, so that's really cool. And then ASOS, that's just beach clothes. You know what I'm saying? Beach in the winter time, I'm so excited. I checked online and it said that December is usually a good time to go. I think they said October through, the, through December was a really good time to go because it's not super hot, it's not super touristy. So I'm excited and I can't wait to show you guys a little bit of my haul. I hope you guys like my style. <sighs> Let's go. All right, before I even try anything on, can I say, damn, look at these. I've never purchased bikinis or any sort of swimwear that came in a fancy pouch like this. And let me tell you, it wasn't that I got this on sale. So everything was like 30% off. Meshki, this is great presentation. I've never bought anything from here before. So I'm gonna find out with you guys quality, if I like it, if I recommend it, if not. Um, and I do, I do gotta confess something. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not a very revealing type of dresser. Like I don't have my boobs in my booty cheeks ever, ever sticking out. Like it's rare to see me in a skirt, like a short skirt or some short shorts. Even though right now I am wearing it because I'm in the comfort of my own home. They're like my volleyball shorts. Anyway, um, so my bikinis are pretty much the same. It is kind of rare for me to even wear, like the fact that I have that triangle string bikini that you guys see me in, um, that already feels pretty revealing. <laughs> okay, and I wear the regular bottom ones, like my ass. I don't have that little thong, but, Guys, I went there this time. And I got those little, not a thong thong, but it does, it's more cheeky than anything I've ever owned. I don't know. I don't know if I could do this. So I'm gonna try these on. I'm not gonna show you the ass part, unless it looks bomb as fuck, which I really doubt it is. I feel like my ass got saggy just cause I haven't worked out the way I used to. So I'm gonna try that on and hopefully it works out. So we'll see. I'll show you guys what I can, okay? And I'll give you guys a review. All right, y'all, I have to move it to the bathroom because I have better lighting here. Over here, the light comes straight down on you which, which casts these crazy ass shadows that shows you all your imperfections and I don't like it. So we're gonna use the bathroom mirror. First thing first, I look at this thing. So this right here is the only thing holding my freaking Chi Chi's in. And that is scary, you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do this one. I don't know. Okay, my zoom is broken. Okay, so this is number one that I got. This is the ass part. <sighs> it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. I'll tell you that much, but it doesn't look as good as I would hope it would look. So, I don't know. This one's scary though. I, I don't know. I don't know about this. I got to put a bunch of just doing this. Okay, we're going to stop there. I don't, I don't like this one. The bottoms maybe, but the top is too much. I'm so scared. It's too much. We're not doing the top. All right, bikini number two. Maybe I didn't order from the right company, but I feel like it's not holding in my tatas. Like it's just poking from the bottom. And I would say I'm maybe a D, but also remember I'm 5'11", so that's probably like a B or small C, okay? Um, if I was like 5'4 with a D, then that's some big old titties, but no, my titties aren't that big. It's a good, it's a good handful. Uh, yeah, there's the, this one's a little bit less cheeky than the other one. I mean, it's still a lot of cheek, but I don't hate this one. So this is a maybe, this is a maybe. Oh my Lord. This does not cover jack shit. <sighs> my girls out there, I feel your struggle. We gotta, sh we gotta do so much to look sexy. <sighs> Gosh. 
All right, let's keep going. All right, let's stay strong. All right, so I got some velvet shit and it looks so good on these models. All right, Ugh, it ain't working for me. Everything's just fucking hanging out of everywhere. I'm just like, oh God, this is not attractive at all. Jesus Christ, holy shit. Like, I gotta, look at that. That does not, well, there's, ignore that tag there, but that, this is not me, y'all. There's a girl out there, this is her. This is not me. <laughs> I like the velvet concept, but I don't like the, I'm still trying to fix it. The titties everywhere concept. <sighs> what a shame, because I really like this velvet shit. Moving on to the next one. This one's definitely going back. <laughs> All right, so I think I have another one I might like. I like this top, but I'm not gonna be a big fan of all the tan lines. Like all this, like I want a tan, bro. So I don't know. And then these bottoms are not very flattering. I might just keep the top. Yeah, not, not about it. Might just keep the top and then wear those other blue ones I showed you. But everything here is so small. Like, I don't know. It's a little too revealing for me. And they don't really have padding. Like, so you're, if you, you know, if you get all nipply and shit and you don't like that, it's gonna show that. I'm not sure if I would recommend it because it's just not my style because it's a little too revealing. <sighs> All right, so do I recommend Meshki? Um, yes, if that's your style. I'm a little bit more conservative, um, so I'm not very insta model -y, so I don't like a lot of things hanging out from different directions. I like keeping it all in one place, you know what I mean? So it's not for me. I am gonna keep two of the bathing suits where I'm gonna mix and match it, um, but I do wanna show you guys a little hack because I know it can be a daunting task to open a package and then actually return it because you think, oh my God, that's so much work. But it really isn't if you do it right. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. This is the way I do it and it helps me. So what I do is, as I'm trying things on, I'm putting it in two separate pots. So initially, I had it this way. Um, that's the pile I'm keeping, the pile that I'm not. As I'm taking it off, I'm already putting it back in its packaging. Now, a lot of the packages do come this way, so I just don't rip it open. Most of the time they have an adhesive. Does this one have it? Yeah. It has like an adhesive side. I open it up using the adhesive side, and then I try it on, and then I just put it right back. So I still have the package to put it back in. Even with the package that gets mailed to me, most of the time it's perforated. This one wasn't, so I always have my trusty little box cutter with me. And I just neatly cut it on top so that I could place all the packages inside the bag that I do not longer, that I don't want. Then with this old label here, um, you cross it off and then you add the shipping label, which they usually include. And I want to say like 95% of the time they include it. Um, and as I'm trying things on and keeping them, all that extra like wrapping or whatever, I bring a trash bag or I have a trash bag next to me so I can throw things out and it's a neat process. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill out the paper, get it all set. All I'm gonna need to do is just seal it. And then when I'm done with all this, I'll tell you what I do. I might forget, let me say it now. Um, for us in the US, we use the US Postal Service, at least in California. Um, I feel like everyone around the US might use that. <laughs> anyway. Um, you can use their online service to schedule schedule a package pickup. So what I do is once I'm done with filling all my return stuff up, I schedule a pickup and then you tell them I'm going to leave it in the front porch or whatever by whatever time. Then you leave it out there, they come, they pick it up, and you're done. It's really cool. I think it's USPS.com that I use. And it's free. Like, yes, it's free. So do it. Okay. So that was my little rant. I'm gonna get this going and then I'm gonna show you the other stuff I bought. So right now I'm two for two. I kept two, I'm returning, no, three. I kept two, I'm returning three things. So I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, so I just opened up the Target package and it was literally just this inside. This is the first time I've ever really bought Christmas decorations for inside the house. Um, I saw this online, I thought it was really cute. I'm actually, excited at how big it is. I didn't think it was gonna be this big, 
but I have to add some batteries and I think something lights up. I'm assuming those little lights up there. So I can't wait to add batteries. But yeah, this is what came in there. Nothing too crazy, definitely not returning it because it's really cute. Oh, maybe I should put a battery just so I can see if it works before I return it. Again, I didn't destroy the box. I left the wrapping and everything intact so that I can return it if I need to. Um, I think I'm gonna put some batteries in to make sure that it works. All right, so I got some batteries. Now, moment of truth. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Keep it. it. Yeah, I got it from Target.com. Keep it. So now I can destroy the box. And I'm gonna just cut down the bottom, fold it. Bada bing, bada boo, yeah. Okay, just got this package from Nordstrom in an unmarked box, but got these little slides. I think I'm gonna keep them. They're pretty cool. I feel like such a mom now. I would never have bought these before, but they're so cute. And it's perfect for the beach, cause um. Yeah, they just look very stylish and they're pretty comfortable. So, keeping it. Well, here, I don't know if I did a good job, but it's suede on top. And it's from Coconuts by Matissa. Never heard of it. <laughs> but it's like cushiony here, so it's really cool. And it's like a rubber sticky bottom, which I like, because you can easily slip with some of these. I've had these before, not these, but I've had some of these before and like you can eat shit real quick. So those are cute. Okay, so now moving to the ASOS packages here and here. Um, and this is, ASOS is one of them that has the perforated, it closed like this, but then since it's perforated, you can rip it open, but they have an adhesive here. So when you're ready to return, you just pull that green, green tape off and then it seals it again. So that's pretty convenient. So just be mindful of these. Um, and then I try to keep these as well, just in case whatever I return is not enough for the size of the box. Things aren't flying around everywhere. Okay, since the Sue separate packages, they do come with um, two different packing slips. So I separated the piles according to the package. So if I have to return something, I'm not like looking through everything to try to like figure what's where. Okay. At first, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I felt a little weird doing this type of video because I'm not one to like ever, ever want to show anything off. Because I'm like, I don't know, I just feel like, ooh, look at what I got, look at what I got. And I don't like being that person, but I find myself looking at other people's hauls and I'm like, ooh, thanks for the idea. Oh yeah, I didn't know about that. Oh, I didn't even know about this brand. So through them, I find a lot of really cool things or I avoid a lot of other things. Um, so then that was kind of the tipping point for me where I'm like, hey, if someone helps me when I look at their haul videos or things that they recommend or don't recommend, if that helps me, then whatever my particular picks or tastes are, well, my phone's going wild. Um, you know, I can kind of either review it or just show it on and that way you guys, it can help you guys. So um, that was kind of the reason why I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I never do these things anyway. And I do have a lot of fun trying things on. Um, I don't really buy a lot of things. Uh, I do store a lot of things. Whenever I do buy it, it takes me forever to wear anything. Uh, I think now just because I have a baby, so I don't really go out very much, so I'm not buying as much. And when I do, it sits in my closet forever. Anyway, that kind of went nowhere, but I'm gonna start trying these things on. And then, <laughs> minus, the, minus the bras. I got this though, because I do wear backless bras and I do wear like little adhesive nipple covers so that you're not just showing your fucking nipples to the world. And it's not like the actual nipple that you're looking at. It's like the, what is it called? Like a hard nipple. I don't like showing that. Some girls might like it. Kudos to them, but I don't. And I don't like how it's bumpy. Like, so there's a nipple cover, right? And since it's not flush with your skin, there is a bump from where the nipple co cover is to your skin. So you can tell that you're wearing them, which I don't like for certain materials. So I found these and I thought that was a really cool concept. So we'll see how that fits. And then there's another one because this has no adhesive on the sides, but this one, it does. 
So it's the same concept, but now it tapes on the side. So then I feel like that would give me more of a lift. So I'm gonna try these and see which one I prefer. I don't think I can return for good reason, um, undergarments. So I'm gonna basically be stuck with both. So I might not even try it on, but we'll see. Maybe I will, because if it doesn't fit, I'll give it to one of my girlfriends. So that's the plus. But here we go, trying on the first little package. I only got four items, but one of them is a, is a set. Okay, let's try it. All right, so here's dress number one, and I've never worn anything as revealing as this ever outside of a bikini. So. I don't think my body was made for this, y'all. There's like all this space here. Ooh, la 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 la, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Should I keep it or ditch it? I don't know. It, it's just so, it fits so weird. I don't know. You guys let me know. Keep it or ditch it. All right, y'all, this is for sure more my steez. I'm more comfortable showing some sort of torso than the fucking side booby. So I'm keeping this one for sure. Look at the back. How cute is the back? Oh, I love it. I don't know if you guys saw it because I couldn't see, but yeah, this screams beach vibes. I'm keeping you. Ooh, I love it. It's so light and flowy. All right, so at this point, I already don't need this shit, and I'm being extra fucking extra and exaggerated, but I got this cute little bag. Look at this. Come on, it was on sale. I like it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I always do this test. Does my phone fit inside? If it does, I'm getting it. If it doesn't, sorry. Better luck next time. All right, so this happens sometimes. Ugh kind of annoying but oh well so this dress right here I couldn't even put it on because I ordered a UK size 10 which is equivalent to like 810 is a size I guess it's like a, a large um so I got a large but they sent me a six which is like a uh wait what five six like a medium or a small actually I don't know how it works, but it's not my fucking size. So they sent the wrong product. I can't put it on. I can't try it on. So I'm just going to return it. But it was pretty funny trying to watch me put it on, y'all, because it wouldn't go over my head and it was just stupid. It just looks stupid. <laughs> okay, so I tried these pants on and I love them. They're so cool. You can't really see the color, but shit, you can't really see the color here either. But they look super vintage and washed a million times. I love it. They're skinny. They fit perfectly. Except for the muff muffin top. Don't pay attention to the muffin top. <laughs> okay, next one. I have only two more items and I'm done. All right, so moving it because the lighting is better here, but got this top. I should have got it for free because it's so see-through, but I like it in a weird way. I like it. I'm classy, yet slutty all at once. No, I'm not slutty, but this top shirt sure screams I am. Better than the freaking meshki bathing suits. Not calling it slutty, but that was definitely way more revealing, you know what I mean? All right, then I got this thing. Show me love. Oh, pfft. okay, but. It's like a see-through long t-shirt, if you will. And I like it. I'm for it. I'm with it. Let's do it. It's done. We're keeping it. Yes. I like it so much. Yes. Okay. And then I got platform leather bombers. Try them on. Not for me. They didn't look very good. So I'm returning that. Then I got platform low top skates. These are dope. Keeping those. He just got home from a haircut. Did you put in the uh, mattress topper yet? No, it's right here. Oh, I was going through everything else. Cause I was gonna put it in for you right now if you want me to. Yes, I do want you to. Uh, and then I got these for the beach, but they are way too high for my tall, gigantic ass. 
This like, I, I want to say this is one, two, three, four, five and a half, maybe six inches high. I can't afford that. <laughs> I'll die and break an ankle. So that's going back. And yeah. Yeah, that's what we got. So we got top over here. Opening up the the topper, so I gotta put that. I gotta put this away so that we can do that. So let's do that. Alright, so now Papa's gonna help me. Now I have a cameraman, y'all. Eh, 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 eh. Uh it felt so weird opening packages on my bed because usually packages are freaking disgusting, so I never open them up here. Cause who knows where it's been. It's probably been bouncing around a dirty freaking mail truck. Yeah, but for the sake of showing you guys the video i was like i gotta do it 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 oh and what's cool is because as i was prepping and cleaning as i was going and opening packages yeah. everything's in that corner is ready to get shipped out so i gotta do is seal the box and i'm done baby so keep it neat okay all right i'm excited for this topper Oh, another pro tip. We got this, what is this called? Protector? Yeah, so it's like a protector. It also is for germs and stuff. You can tell Tyke has been here because there's like a little bit of throw up or something. Sure, that's what it is. That high up? I'm just kidding. Hey, we do a lot of things high no, up there. No, we don't. Okay, now <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, do we need to take this off? Yeah, we want to. We want to put the mattress topper underneath the protector oh, damn. in case more of those liquids, <laughs> those uh, Tyco liquids, get all over the place. You know what I mean? Stupid. <laughs> You're so dumb. All right, take it away, monkey dad. Monkey dad, monkey dad, monkey. If this bed wasn't already, ah, oh, it's not that high. Let's see. It's not that high. Just shake it, right? What made you choose this one? Um, so there's a couple of them. This one, it has like the swirls in it. So it's supposed to smell like blueberries the minute you open it up. Blueberries? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's I was like, really? No, it's actually a cool, it's supposed to be cooling. Oh yeah, you need it. So the other ones, like it's like just pure foam. I think it gets hot and I think yeah, foam does. has a tendency of getting hot. Yeah, it does. But um, this one, Okay, that makes sense. It has the cooling, so I was like, oh cool, that's probably good. So it's like supposed to regulate temperature a little bit, but we'll see. And the price difference was like 10 or 20 bucks. Oh, okay. So I was like, it might be worth it. I love when it comes uh, vacuum sealed like this, because as soon as you open it, it just grows. You love it when things grow, don't you? I knew you were going to say that, you took the purge. I'm <laughs> just kidding, do you love watching Titan grow up? Hey, it's such a beautiful thing. There's, there's paper on the bottom. One. Three year limited warranty. All right, here we go. What I like to do is I like to pull the slack out a little bit. Just oh, you so want to cut the thing on Yeah, accident. I kind of want to accidentally hurt it, you know, so I can pull a little bit. How dude. cute it has feelings. Yeah. Dude, I got to put something up on that wall. It's so clean. Is it growing? I think. It doesn't smell like blueberries. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's the memory cooling foam. Actually, oh. It smells funny. It smells weird. It smells like yeast. Yeast. Oh, damn. Magic trick. Okay. Let's see. What Our bed's going to smell weird. I know. But at least we got that cover. Gross. Oh, there's another cover. Another sleeve. Should I put Febreze on it? Another sleeve of wizard. From here, it looks like the sky. Oh yeah. Oh, puts little holes in it. Jesus Christ, you bought like a real. It's like a, uh, you know that. This is that wild. Bread that we get at the Ethiopian restaurant. Yeah. What in the hell did you buy? Something that's comfortable as F, hopefully. I'm a dad now, so I can't cuss like that. Okay. What? So we just got to let it sit for a minute, right? Yeah. And then we can try it out. Uh, feels kind of good, actually, even though it's not fully expanded. The ultimate test is when it's on the side. Because sometimes my shoulder doesn't know where to go, you know? So I'm like, oh, oh, actually fits good. My okay. shoulder goes inside of it. 
You wanna, you wanna just do a quick test drive? Yeah, let me see. See if you like it. Oh yeah. Is it better already? Yeah. Do you sleep on your back? No. What do you sleep? On my side. Sleep on your side and see if, if it God, gets... I just wish it did smell like this. <sighs> yeah, it feels good. Feels good? We'll test it out. Let everyone know what's up. Maybe they'll buy the blue cotton candy freaking foam mattress thing too. Yeah. I don't want to smell like this thing though. We'll put the cover on. We'll put the cover on. Well, our bed's going to smell like... Imagine we're all blue now. I know, huh? Is it two layers? Oh no, no. we got to wait for it. We bought the three incher. There's a two incher and a three incher, but this one is a softer, I guess. Nice. Now we can really throw Tyke on this and he'll never get hurt. Oh yeah. Body slam his ass. Cool. Okay. Now I'm ready to go downstairs with Tyke. I've been missing him all day. I haven't messed with him all day, you know that? And it's already five. We've been filming and then got home, filmed this. Now I want to play it with my son. All right, y'all. So the funniest thing just happened. I don't know if it's funny. I feel kind of bad too. But we were trying to get dinner. We got tacos. Pop Bear ordered from... Uh, forgot. I don't even remember what that place is called. Taqueria El Taco or something like yeah. that. But then they said that... It got canceled, so I was like, oh no, my bear, the food got canceled. So then I came in and I ordered from DoorDash because everywhere we were trying to order from was canceling our order. So we're like, okay, well, let me go to DoorDash. This is about the second time I used DoorDash. Cool. So I opened the doorbell. I mean, uh, the doorbell rings. I opened the door and there's this lady and this man both standing out there. And this lady gives me our food. And then I thought the man was with her to protect her. Cause you know, they have to go house to house. I've seen that a lot. But he hands me this bag from Postmates. And it's supposed to have been canceled. And it wasn't canceled. So we have so much food, you guys. Who wants to come over and eat some of this food? We got a lot of food. What do you, do you want to eat one and save the other side? I think it's going to depend on what tastes better. And my mom will probably eat more. Like so which the one? Day. Which one? Doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So this I could have. This is the Taika hand. Have a dip, so dip, I dip, taste dip. All of this. Yeah, this one's mine. All this is for me. This is my mom's. Here and then pineapple water was mine. This and one's yours. <laughs> this one's my mom's. Okay. Let's feast away. I've never had this happen. And they were standing right next to each other. I bet they thought we were ridiculous. And I, I felt so guilty. I'm like, I think there was a glitch in the system. Like I had to explain myself. Like they really give a shit. They don't give a shit. But yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. Because I always like sharing things that I personally go through or love. So if I have a bad experience, I want to let you guys know. If I have a good experience, I want to let you guys know, like, for real. So if you like it, communicate that to me so that I know to keep making these. If not, I'll probably just keep it to myself. Um, but yeah, thanks for spending your time with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.